Hey yo! I'm Gloopy1 and this is my first video making Wizard 101 content. This video I'm going to be focused on balanced PvP and specifically Nova, which if you don't know is this spell right here. It costs 2 shadow pips and it does 1600 shadow damage. It's similar to Shrike if you're familiar with that, in which if you do stuff it likes it gives you buffs and it lowers backlash. It likes it when you blade or when you trap. And so this is what I'm going to be focused on in this video. Here's the deck. And here's a side deck. It mainly focuses on making sure that your opponent can't kill you and stalling until you have enough to Nova. And then you buff up the Nova, do something like a Midnight Sprite or a Green Oak or a Blade. Uh, I love to faint because, you know, 70 trap is just overpowered. Uh, my favorite thing is to Savage Paw because it just, it does so much damage, does a plus 25. Uh, Balance Nova is, in my opinion, the best Nova to use. Uh, there's also other Novas, like Life Novas. I've gotten clapped by. Uh, there's Death Novas. They're a lot rare. Uh, there's even Myth Novas. Don't see a whole lot of those. I've yet to encounter one, but I've seen some videos on some. Um, this is basically... I'm going to be trying it on the Balance. Uh, I have a max level Myth. Don't think I'm going to be doing Nova on it. He's not ready for PvP yet. Don't have any of the gear. Hopefully I can try it because let's go into the match. Well, hopefully I can try on Myth because as of now I only have the Morgant, the Thame, which I plan to be using for it. Don't have anything else. I don't have the Shane Von Chain um, Amulet, which I don't really want to farm for. I do have the Morgant, so we're just going to say screw it and go with the Morgant because I don't want to spend all the time to farm for the Shane Von Chain. Good luck, my guy. Uh, he's a fire, which is... I hate going against. I didn't show you any of the stats either. I'll show you that after this match. Uh, I'm rocking 60 Universal Resist. I have this pet that has a Ice Ward on it. So you have 75 Ice Resist. Plus I have... It's not Ultra, so I can't socket a, um, a Ward Jewel. So I have the Fireproof Jewel added. I want to get the... Because um, right now I'm rocking 39 Pierce, which is pretty good. But I kind of want to get a lot more pierce than that, which three more pierce may not seem like a whole lot, but three pierce is a lot. That'll put me at 42. I want to try to get my pet here to ultra. That way I can socket a, uh, what is it, uh, pierce something? I forgot what it's called. But it's a pierce talent, which basically gives you three extra pierce, and you can only use it at uh, Ultra. And since he's a Mega, can't really use it right now. Um, so I just had the Fireproof socketed, so that gives me 60... You no, know, that gives me 70 Fire Resist. Sorry, misspoke there. Uh, doesn't seem to make a whole lot of difference, because I still use to Fire all the time. Let's see what he's going to do. Bubble? Really? I don't see fires blading that much. So it's clockwork. Uh, I'm rocking about 104 damage, uh, 21 accuracy, which is, in my opinion, it's essential if you're going to do Nova, because um, you can you have like low accuracy in general because you can't really get that high universal react universal accuracy in general. Um, but I think 20 is good because you can't fizzle things like a stun. Uh, that's just super important in my opinion. I've lost too many games to not have that much action. Mmm, yeah, take out that minion. <laughs> uh, what can I really... I can't really do anything. He's got the double shadow pit. Shield? Shield? Shield! <laughs> so... Yeah, it's my first video. Hopefully it's going to do nothing but wins. See, the thing is you had to visualize winning. It's, three, it's a three-step process. Um, Shrike could ruin the process, though. Can't stun him, can I? Can I bank on a mantle? And Three-step process. Step one, visualize winning. Step two, win. Step three, repeat steps one and two very simple uh if you can't follow it it's okay uh 
I won't have the instructions posted in the description, don't worry. So, again, that's step one, visualize winning. Step two, win. Step three, um, repeat steps one and two. Okay, so. What can he do here? He can a free. Is it. Does he get a May cast? No. Oh, uh, he can a free. Or, uh, yeah, he get a free, or he get FFA into another FFA. We're going to try to pull for the Thermic. Because I have that 70 fire resist, and I have, if I have a Thermic, it'll be an extra 75 shield. It's not going to matter, really, because he's just going to pierce through all of it, apparently. Uh, Thermic? <gasps> oh, volcanic is the same thing. Um, if he takes out the ice, just nah. If he took out the ice, that would be the best thing for me. Okay, so the good thing is, after he hits, he can't do anything because he well, he can't shield because he has that uh, ice dispel, which cancels out the tower shield. So I can volcanic into. Nova, maybe. And it's irrelevant if he Efreets. Look at that. Beautiful cards. I love this card. Um, I recently just took out um, Shadow Pip Chance, a 3% Shadow Pip Jewel. He did Efreet. It's irrelevant. Absolutely irrelevant, unless you crit. Okay, then it's relevant. Because, was he going to pierce through all of it? Yes. Do I... Uh. 3,000? 2,000! Woo! 70 resist is a lot more than I was hoping for. Or than I thought. I just thought it was going to be like 6k and beat the game. Uh, let's see. Next turn, let next turn have 3 pips. So, I can try to pull for... Green Oak. Didn't get it. Green Oak's going to be my best move. I can Green Oak into the Faint, Green Oak into the um, Shadow Blade, maybe? Balance Blade? Can't Green Oak into the Savage Paw. That'd be my, that's my favorite combo. Or, well, to do one or the other. Uh, I don't like doing, some people do Nova, and they'll do, like, a Midnight Sprite into a Green Oak. I don't like doing stuff into other stuff that immediately takes out what you just put up. Okay, perfect, we got the absolute beast of a card. In my opinion, this is absolute garbage if you're, like, doing regular balance. I absolutely hated it. It's gonna... Did you try it? Huh. Does Green Oak save me? We're gonna hope. Uh, NFFA does what? 1,500? He has 160 damage. That's, like, what? 4,200. Uh, if he crits, that's an extra 33%. So it's like an extra 1,100. So that's 5,300. What's well, 25% of 5,300? Um, that's like over 1,000, right? Right? Because 25% of 4,000 would be 1,000. Okay, so I believe even if he has 160 damage, and he crits, we shouldn't be dead, because, is he gonna, please tell me you just mantled. <sighs> what do I have? Midnight Sprite, perhaps? <gasps> is that worth it, though? See, I don't like taking out that blade I got from the green oak, but I lose a minus 25, but I, or I lose a plus 25, but I also lose the minus 30. So I think it's worth it in this, in this, uh, this time. Then I, <gasps> okay, I'll tell you about the pet later. This is the, like, it took me like 10 tries to get this pet. I got Maycast Infallible, which is, in my opinion, the best pet talent that you can have if you're running Nova because 
two things about Nova. One, accuracy is always low. It doesn't matter if you have like, the best universal accuracy ever, you can still like lose to a mantle if they get lucky, right? Uh, also, is, it, is he alive? <gasps> oh my goodness! Ah! <laughs> that barely killed. I think the pierce, uh, the infowl got me the win. Uh, anyways, show you this beast of pet. Anyway, the accuracy from the infowl comes in handy extremely well. Um, also, the 15% pierce, I told you, like, I want to get the uh, armor breaker. Is that it? I don't have it here. I believe it's armor breaker that I want to socket uh, right here. That gives me that three extra percent pierce. And he has that, um, he has this may cast infowl. It gives you the extra 15 pierce. So if I have the extra 15 accuracy here, that's uh, 36 accuracy. If they do like a minus 55 mantle, all I have to do is a pierce enchanted in green oak. And that does 130 plus the, um, what did I say, 36? Right? Yeah, 36. And I can't fizzle a um, shift green oak. Even if they do with the super rare minus 60 TC uh, mantle, I have 161% uh, accuracy going into this. There's a 0% chance, chance I fizzle this. Um, so, I doing that. I've used Midnight Sprite a net total of twice. Once on a stupid play because it had death bat a minion and it wouldn't take it out So I had to midnight sprite it and the trap with the death bat took out the minion and then once you saw there I don't really like midnight sprite and I'll Tell you why but um, He's your man. He powered the mantle didn't he? Anyway, okay, so midnight sprite Yes, it does reduce backlash. Yes, it uh, gives you that plus 20 trap. Yes, it can break a shield and stuff like that But it's a plus 20 trap for two more pips, you get a plus 25 uh, blade, then you get a minus 25 weakness on them, and it's a shield break, and you can't fizzle this. I can't fizzle this regardless, but if they tried to mantle, I'd have, you know, I just went over why this is so good. Um, so I'm rocking a bunch of towers. These are important uh, in case they do a shadow shield, because the only way to take out a shadow shield is pierce, shatter, or a shadow wand hit, which you're not going to want to do with Nova. Because, you know, you get the Shadow Blade from the Nova. You don't want to waste all that because that's how you get the damage. As far as the Garam Rocking, <clears throat> Turquoise Eagle's Mantle, Turquoise, Turquoise Eagle's Raiment, Silent Knight Snow Boots, Admiral's Boarding Hook, Atham of the Dark Usurper, uh, Traveling Dead's Charm, Duelist Daredevil Ring, uh, this pet, which gives Pain Giver, Spell Defying, Spell Proof, Ice Ward, may cast Infowl, and then as you know, I have the Fireproof uh, Jewel socketed to it. Uh, you can't tell, but I have the Clockwork Cursor Mount. Uh, Lovelorn Spirit Set of Woe. This is from... What is it? Bradley? Ridley? Ridley. Is it Ridley? It's the only crafting thing in Castle Darkmoor. Um, this is the best. I've seen some other people using this, and that's the only way I knew how to do this, to be honest. Um, it gives those, uh, it gives that, see, a lot of people use it, uh, they used to use it because you could pack max mana burns, um, or you could ma pack, like, a max of a bunch of other stuff. I don't really use it for that. I, even before the mana burn nerf, which, side note, it's, oh my goodness, balance is awful to use now. It's so hard. Because I nerfed mana burn, that was a really good move. They nerfed, um, lore. I didn't really use lore. Whenever it was, um, like, good. Because you can't really feel dignified winning with lore spamming. And then, what else? They, they nerf diffuses. So, they're still good. Because if you go against a storm and a fire, it, you, you, as you saw, it blocked out his fire hit. And he couldn't tower shield unless he removed that dispel. So, if you do this into a Nova, or you do this and then you uh, wait, like, two turns or something like that, like I did last round, into a Nova... This is really good because they had to take out that dispel for the ice one, and then you have t that times Nova to blade up to win. Okay, um, so that's where you get that Castle Darkmoor. The guy who uh, you need you need to learn the two decks. There's um, let's see what is it. There is the set. If you're doing it on balance, you need to learn 
set of the Lovelorn Spirit, and then you need to learn Lovelorn Spirit set of Woe. You have to have this one to craft this one, as you can see. And this one you have to fish for gargoyles. Um, uh, I, I know they're in Castle Darkmoor. As far as what type they are, here it is. Nope, here it is. It's a storm, um, rank 2, caught in the dark, more waters. It's a rare fish, so if you have any of the uh, arena ticket uh, clothing that gives you energy and fishing luck, I would, I would uh, recommend doing that, definitely. Uh, that's the best way to Nova PvP, in my opinion, is with this deck. As far as the mountain goes, sadly, you know, you do gotta pay money for this. 100% honesty, I didn't know these gave these stats um, when I did it. I literally just bought it for the stitch and the the uh, tower. It looks so cool. Uh, this is not what the regular Turquoise Eagles Raiment looks like. This is the stitch for the Dragoon's Tabard that comes in the Cuckoo Clock Bundle. These are also the boots that come in the stitch. Are, they're Dragoon something. And the hat that comes with it is this. I don't know if I have the sword. Um, uh, no. I don't have the sword that comes with it. Uh, it just comes with a rapier. It's it's a really cool set. That's why I bought it. I just so happened to look and say, you know what? <laughs> it just so happened to be this. So, the only way to get this is with the Cuckoo Clock bundle. Uh, viable alternatives to this, in my opinion, are the rock. If you want to rock, higher pip chance. Because at the moment... Uh, I'm rocking 89% pip chance, which you may think is low. Think about this. You get the regular pip at the beginning, right? You get two fail pips. That's what, an 11% chance and 11% chance in a row. That's really low. But say that monstrosity of a situation happens, you green oak. That's it. If you get two fail pips, just get a power pip and do something like clockwork spider. Which, this is... To counteract the fail pips because as you can see it gives that extra 35 to 40 percent pip chance and if you're going against an opponent instead of it being a bubble that helps you which they want to change it helps everybody so they're not going to really want to change it like as much as they would if it would be a normal bubble um so you don't they don't really change it that often i've uh very rarely because, I mean, why would you change something that helps you? If they have, say, 97% pip chance, it would help them, but it helps you a lot more. Um, so, that's really good. Um, as far as we get all the stuff, uh, like this, the Cuckoo Clock Bundle. Um, other viable alter alternatives to this is the Balance Sculpture, which is in the um, Gulcher's Horde Pack. It gives 2% damage, um, universal which universal stuff is the only thing you can use for Nova. So that's the only alternative to that um, besides the Battle Narwhal, which you, there's two ways to get the Battle Narwhal or the, um, uh, I forgot what it's called. It's called the War Havoc. You get it in the Battle Mage Keep Bundle. That, the Balance Culture and the Battle Narwhal are the only three alternatives to this besides rock, but I don't really count that because it's not really, it doesn't give you like as good stats as these. Uh, out of all five of those, the Battle Narwhal is the only one that you can get um, for free. You can fish for it in the Polarian Shipwreck Bundle House. If you get a rare chest, um, there's a chance that it's probably low because I've been fishing for it for a while until I got the Clockwork Cursor. Um, it's a low chance, but. If you're lucky enough, you can actually get the um, get the Battle Narwhal, which gives 2% damage, which it puts you at 106. Here, if you use these stats, I would recommend Pierce more, my personal opinion, because you're not going to find somebody with the slow 39% resist. And um, even if you get that 10% blade from the Nova, that's still 49% resist. That's insanely low if they have that low. That's where the infall comes in handy. That's where the other stuff comes in handy. As far as the gear, uh, pet, I believe uh, Rocco's in the kiosk. If you want to try to find them and hatch with them. Uh, I can go back to the ring. Um, this is Shane Von Shane in um, Darkmoor. And if you want the best stats, 
go for this. If you want slightly inferior stats but are still pretty good, you can go for the Morganth Amulet. I don't have it in my inventory at the moment. It gives 3 resist, 30 critical, uh, 2 or 3% pierce, and a little bit less health, I believe. Uh, it's very similar. This is just if you want to go for like a lot better stats, you go for this. Uh, this is dropped by the first ghoul creature in Darkmoor. I believe he's called Yvingi Night Creeper. Um, this is amazing in my opinion because you get that two universal accuracy, you get the 16 damage. Um, it's just amazing. This is the best one in my opinion for Nova. Uh, it comes out of the Sinbad and the Iron Sultan Horde Pack. Uh, you get the damage, you get the pierce, you get everything. You get the pip conserve. Um, as far as the boots, I'm rocking the Silent Night Snow Boots. Uh, good luck. Um, is this the same fire that I want to get? No, he's... What is he? He's a balance. As far as the boots, I'm rocking the Silent Night Snow Boots. They're a Christmas-only um, item. The only way to get them is when Christmas comes around, or if you... Sometimes they do the Christmas in July promotion, and I believe they bring back Christmas packs for that. You can try to get it. Um, I don't want to tell you wrong. I don't know exactly which pack they're out of. So, you could look that up, find which pack they come out of, and uh, try to get them there. There's no really viable alternative, in my opinion, uh, for them. As far as the robe goes, I'm rocking the Turquoise Eagles Raiment. That's in the Skyvern's Spell Elemental Horde Pack that that's in. Um, and it's by far the best drip for Nova. There's no competition. Don't, you, can't, you can't find a better one. Uh, I even rocked it on my balance for a little bit before I rocked the Light Brigade. Um, it's just too good to not use. Um, as well in that pack is the Turquoise Eagle's Mantle. Look at that. Perf that this is why you need it. Um, I wish it would have been later. Uh, because uh, I would need it when I'm trying to Nova. I don't really need it right now as much. But back to the packs. Uh, the Turquoise Eagle's Mantle is also the hat that I'm rocking. Um, it's also in the Spell Elemental Skyvern's Horde Pack. Uh, is it a thing? Dispel? Okay. Well, obviously doesn't know where Nova. I'm not scared of a gaze. Gaze me. I dare you. Use up all those pips. Use them. But, um, that, the Skyvern Horde Pack, I would definitely recommend going for. Um, whether you're doing Nova or not, just to try to get the robe. It's that good. Like, guys, I'm not tripping. It is that good. Is this split damage worm or gaze? Ah. Uh, see, I forgot that we were going up against a balance, and... Yeah. Um. As long as he hits ice or fire on the gaze, I'm good. Because I have set resist to those. Um, that's a good card. Ooh, I got the shadow pip. That's a good card. I need to pull for a stun. Mmm. Because if he tries to strike, I can do the stun into the unbalance, and then maybe my um, minion will uh, mantle by then, or weakness, and then we can double mantle, or we can, see, look, that's not just, that's just amazing. Uh, maybe we could double mantle, or uh, he could weakness, and that would kind of shut him out of a strike, and he would take insane backlash. Um... As far as diffuses go, I can't really... When you're going up against a balance, the diffuses don't really work. See, like this, it wouldn't work on him. That's why I packed the unbalances. This is a mana burn. That was a pretty good move. I respect that. Even crit it? Yeah, that was a good move. That blade's unfortunately going to be completely useless to me. Because I'm going to have to take it off because of the weakness. But one of the main things that I recommend doing for Nova 
is minions. You have to keep minions out. Uh, look at that. Beautiful. See, here's why. Uh, so, is this strike? Ooh, that's bad. Okay, so... Tell you the minions, and we're going to go over the strike counter because he's absolutely going to get clapped because I'm going to counter his strike. Um, maybe. Oh, hopefully. Um, see, look now if he tries to, for example, if I have a minion out, right? Uh, Balance minions are really good because they, especially the clockwork, because it can spirit shield and elemental shield and all that stuff, right? Uh, the Mander minion can't. It can only uh, do... <gasps> I got it. So what do I do out of this? Green oak? The Mander minion can only elemental shield. Shield you. It can blade you and weakness him and sandstorm and stuff, right? But as far as shielding goes, it can only do... Um, an elemental shield. Oh, that's amazing, minion. Make him be able to not do anything. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is how you shut them out of a strike. You stun round one, dispel round two. You can interchange those, right? So you stun, then dispel, or dispel, then stun. Um, then hope that the minion does something stupid like a charm, like a, not a charm, a, a weakness. Then you can just green oak into that, and it's beautiful. I'm not gonna need that. And which okay. Uh then that's just easy claps. Easy. I believe his best move right now, because you can no longer double reduce and strike, thank goodness. Um would be a split worm. He has no hope to do damage to me. I just have he has the double weakness plus the shield plus my resist. So, the best you can try to do now is to get rid of both those weaknesses and my shield and the minion. The only way he does that is with the split damage worm uh, on me and the minion. Hopefully, he's not smart and doesn't realize that. He also could wand hit me, which would be a pretty good move too. Um, what'd he do? He didn't wand hit. Okay, see, that wasn't that good of a move. Even with the crit, this doesn't do that much, does it? Okay, minion, I'm going to need you to not be a complete and total failure and weakness him right now. Like, we right now, weakness him. See, look, if you shut them out of the strike, that's 30% backlash, right? I don't want to take that. He doesn't want to take that, but too bad. He just took 2,000 damage. Now, I don't need a fully buffed up Nova to kill him. This has a 4% chance of fizzling. I'm not going to fizzle this. And it's just going to be GG. See, look. Step 1, visualize winning. Step 2, win. Step 3, repeat steps 1 and 2. He can gaze at fate me all he wants. I know for a fact it's not doing 3,000 per head. Actually, he could gaze into the worm. That's pretty bad. You know, that would kill me. Unless it just hits an elemental. That's a good move. I can savage into the balance player, savage into the faint. Uh, ooh, I need to pull a pierce. Beautiful. Be absolutely beautiful. Hey, is this a shadow shield? That's your only hope is a shadow shield. And hope that it... That's... N <laughs> <laughs> what is... What's that gonna give you? Like... Oh my goodness. I love you, minion. I can be toxic in mantle. There's no way this doesn't kill. Unless he unless he does a lore and I fizzle and the weakness by some miracle stasis. Look, that's doing a thousand. That's why I love Savage Paw so much, because it does insane damage. Plus it gives you the plus twenty-five trap. Plus it does the Nova buff. Give you the pierce. And I'm gonna get the info. Oh no I'm not. Okay. Well, next round I'm gonna gonna get the info. Trust me, okay? Just trust me on this. Take my word for it. Best move here is the Shadow Shield. That doesn't save him, though. So the Savage just completely made that irrelevant. Okay, that's useless. 
kind of want to be toxic and just faint. But the safer move. Ah! The safer move would have been to pierce. Can I pull another pierce? No. Ugh. Okay. Well, the safest move would have been to. No! Would it though? Because I get the plus 25 trap from the Nova here, so it's like nothing happened. Right? This is a better move. I get the plus 25 trap from the Nova, plus I get the plus 20 from the fairy. Yeah. It's just this. Guys, it's just this simple. Step one, visualize winning. Step two, win. Step three, repeat step one and two. It's, it's very simple. And again, don't worry, I'm not going to be posting these in the comments uh, or the description on how to do these. You're just going to have to remember them. I killed, right? Huh. A faint would have been awful there. Is he like Max? My has to be, he's wearing Dragoons. Why are they putting me up with somebody 200 more ranked than me? Unless it's stitched, which that would just be stupid. Yeah. He's got 145. Ah, uh, see, you need high resist against Nova. Goodness gracious. These are good. That's low pierce. Whenever I'm running regular bounce, I run at least 40. That's good shadow pit bonus, though. Um, what was that, 700 critical? Um, well, wait. Let's see, what am I at now? 800. Um... It is like 70 something percent chance critical. That's really good. That's interesting. Um, also, Nova is basically undefeatable if you're a good player and you know what you're doing. However, I'm not a good player and I don't know what I'm doing. So, do not you dare be fooled by 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 this rank okay i got to like 1200 on just regular balance um uh when pvp was uh not turn-based which i love turn-based pvp it's so much so much better it's so much more fair fires can't just shadow strike into the double shadow pip ices can't well they can and they win by it it's not as if it is as effective not a lot change for fire. As far as ice goes, though, they can't just uh, shadow strike into the double double abominable because they take mad backlash, and it's a horrible move. Um, I use the savage paw. No. What? Oh, third time using midnight sprite. It's not that bad of a move. It's just there's always something better than a midnight sprite. <laughs> So, that's basically it. Um, like and subscribe if you're hoping that I absolutely continue this lit content. Look, first video, two wins down, easy claps. Easy. Look, beautiful games, 100%, um, no luck, 100% fair. We didn't rely on a make ass and foul win game. It's beautiful. Okay, just 100% amazing content. Subscribe now, leave a comment your favorite part, and like the video if you want me to continue content, because I want to do it, and if I get enough support, I'm going to do it. If you have any questions or tips, like say, hey, uh, Glute, there's, you know, something that gives 900 health, 6 accuracy, and the same stats. Or there's something better than this or something but please tell me uh, what it is where to find it if you have a better strategy for it if you have a different strategy that you want me to rock like if you don't want me to rock Nova if you want me to rock um, balance PvP uh, I'd be happy to 
go back to it for a video or two. Um, I have a max level myth that I'm working on a strategy with. Um, no, I'm not. It's a lie. I have a max level myth I'd be up for doing PvP on. Um, I was gonna get all the PvP stuff for it, but then I realized that takes a lot of effort, and I don't want to do a lot of effort, so it's kind of just sitting in the character selection. Um, I'd be up for farming for the stuff, though, to get it. Um, that's really as much as I can PvP right now. I do have a storm. Uh, good luck. Oh, this is the first fire I went against. Um, I do have a storm that's like level 20 something. It's in Crocotopia. Um, that I'm trying to level up to do low level storm PvP. Because high level storm PvP, the, eh, it can be fun, but like, you can't really like, I want to do glass cannon storm and absolutely obliterate with it. Am I worried about it? No, I'm not. Um, you can do glass cannon storm, absolutely obliterate, uh, low level PvP. You can do like the storm lord into the insane GG. You know, you can do wild bolt spam. Um, a lot of these take 100% luck and zero skill, but I don't care. I want to try them. Um, so I'd be up for that. If you have a recommendation as to what level storm you'd want me to try, I'd be up for doing that too. Um, I was thinking maybe Magus or Legendary, perhaps. Uh, I don't know for certain. Uh, triage? See, this is the thing about fires, is they, they always just, um, fire off the minion. And that's why I had that one triage in, because, see, and find me later. At least we don't have one shadow pip, so I can, you know, RNG bank into the other one. Ah. Uh. Where was that? So not minions. Oh, fire up! There we go. That's why I packed the triage because like it'll take out the mander, yes, but it doesn't always take out the um, clockwork. And when it doesn't take out the clockwork, that's they're, they use two pips for your four pips, so that's a negative pip trade on your end. However, if you do a triage, yes, you use a triage, but... Okay, now I pull the triage. Can I pull a clockwork? Hmm. You do use a triage, but you also use no pips. So then they have to spend the extra pips. Uh, we're going to do something really, really stupid here, and we're going to mantle because we want to pull for the clockwork minion so then they had to spend extra pips even if they just use another fire elf that's a bunch of uh, that's a bunch of stuff that they just wasted uh, is this another fire blade or a bubble are you gonna try to do a rampage move I really should have kept the shift if you are hmm he could try the rampage into FFA. The only counter that I have is um, ooh. Shrike. Why did I keep the stun? The only counter I have to that is if I shift or triage it, and minion is beautiful. And does an elemental shield like that. Pull for a shift. Pull for a shift. Okay, so... If he was to a free or FFA, it's a horrible move. So we basically guaranteed that he has to do an overtime. Or something that's a double hit. So, we kind of force him into the rampage, right? Now we can defuse next. It's a rampage. Really? You would L? Waste? Those? Oh! I should have checked those. Those are not different. That was okay. So, if those had been different, that would have been a good move. 
However, they were not different, and that was a horrible move. This is a prime example of um, not using your resources. So maybe. Uh, we're going to defuse into the green oak, maybe. How? Oh my goodness. Oh, he did have a blade on it. Did he crit it? That's doing 500 around. Oh, we can't green oak. Okay, we're gonna... Okay, guys. This is going to sound really stupid, but we're gonna have to bank on the minion mantling, and we get a mantle. Or the minion doing a elemental shield. So you you have two ways you can help us. <gasps> oh my goodness! You, anything you do, awful, awful move. Uh, it okay? Anything awful move. No one wants to hit into a thermic, into a uh, elemental, and have a weakness on him. Awful move. Waste that blade. Waste that pierce blade. Irrelevant. Take the twenty percent backlash. Then we're just gonna strike. Oh, we can't. Or not try. We can't Nova out of this, can we? Can he kill me? I discarded both fairies, didn't I? I yeah, that was stupid because I pulled both. Okay, you know, I said any move was gonna be a stupid move. I forgot that he could wand hit. Okay, so. He was in the bad situation. Now I'm in the bad situation because oh, I don't have stun blocks either. Minion, oh my goodness, minion, you're going to have to clutch this victory. He can king out into the FFA. Perhaps I don't die. Maybe if he does in a freak. If he does an Efreet, my Mander does a weakness. I can Green Oak, and I... Ugh. I don't know. You didn't... Oh my goodness. <sighs> Not gonna need a blade. Hmm. King Art into the FFA takes it for him. Yeah, GG. I should have stun blocked. You know what? I know what it was. I did not visualize myself winning. I At the beginning of the other two games, I visualized myself winning. I even said it. Uh, so... You know, I, I beat him before. I beat him before when I visualized winning. It's the three simple step process. So, follow those steps. You will gain rank. It's that simple. FFA. Yeah. So, this is basically the max level equivalent of the storm's low level storm lord into the insane the equally is broken king art into the ffa usually this is with a bubble up and a shrike so you can't be too mad oh that barely killed if he didn't crit the king art would i have been um killed i got no clue i hope you enjoyed this video um, I'm going to be hoping to do some more videos. Um, I don't know, uh, upload schedule yet. Um, ooh. Those are pretty okay stats. Um, I don't know an upload schedule yet. I'm going to be trying to do daily, but I don't yet have, um, a whole lot of time because... I'm currently a senior in high school. Uh, I'm an essential worker, so that means I gotta do all the college stuff that you normally have to do that I've been procrastinating on doing. Plus, I also gotta work. So, 
eh. I'm gonna try to do daily uploads. If not, I'll just double upload the next day. Hopefully. I also gotta figure out how to edit videos. Because right now, I know how to record one and delete one. That's it. So, we're gonna do that. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe. If I get a lot of support, I'm definitely doing this. I love this game. I've been playing it for like ten and a half years or something like that. And I don't want it to die. I want as much creator content out there. That's going to be my policy. Not just me. Anybody that wants to help uh, the game by making videos, please do. I want this game to absolutely, you know, wreck the box office. Um, I don't know what that means. But let's get it to happen. 2020 was when one wrecks the box office. And we're going to get it up there to the top of the charts. It's going to be the best game, most popular, and let's get it done. That's my um, that's gonna be my goal here is to get as much people onto this game, back to the game, and also to help help you learn about PvP. If you don't know, if you want to get um, if you're into PvP, you don't really want to get in. Uh, you don't really know how to PvP. Uh, that's why I want to do all levels. I'm definitely gonna do max balance regular and then max balance nova max balance or max myth uh regular don't know about myth nova yet i could see i could i don't have this on the myth or this i could just transfer all this stuff and just farm for this and this i gotta come back to the ring I could try Myth Nova if y'all want it, um, but I'm gonna try to do all levels. Um, if it, if I get popular enough and there's enough requests for it, I may even get another account to do even more ranges. I could do, you know, low level Storm, low level Life, high level Death, uh, low level Myth, high level Life, high level Storm, everything. I, I just want to branch out, show as many people how to PvP as I can, and answer as many questions. Of course, I've got to learn how to PvP. At, um, at those levels because at the moment I just know how to do max level balance uh, I just want to help the community do all that and if you got any questions leave them in the comment again like and subscribe if you did like the video uh, that's the best way to support me we get a lot of support definitely gonna continue but as of now oh wait wait one second I gotta come back to the ring okay Duelist Daredevil Ring. <laughs> By far the best balance Nova Ring I can find. Also, these. Farm the 40 Thieves in uh, Mirage in the Thieves' Den. They drop all the Pierce Jewels. They drop all the stuff. They drop Shift TCs, um, which is, like, amazing in Nova. Um, best thing. I had to farm for, like, four days for about 10 hours a day to get three of them. So, yeah, it's not really efficient. Best the most efficient that I found. So, if you want to do Nova, you got to do that. Um, ring. It is 5,500 arena tickets. It sold right out there. Um, best way to do it, in my opinion, don't rock Nova at the beginning. If you want to do a Myth Nova, rock Myth Damage. You're gonna rock a Balance Nova. I rocked Balance Pierce, and I had 40 Pierce. Then I had a Make Cast Infall Pet. Um. I believe I still have the pet. Um, Beatrix. Uh, is the Poise Medusa. So I played a weird kind of way, right? Poise Medusa gives you... Oh, I don't like this new UI. Poise Medusa gives you Medusa and Stun. So I didn't have to use up all my rare TCs this much. I had to use the Stun. But I had the... Mythic Paradox Amulet. And... I had a bunch of stuns, and you just keep stunning, and then you Medusa. Uh, once you get the infall up, you have so much of the damage that um, you can Medusa, and if you have a Shrike up, then you can Worm if you have the Shadow Pip, um, try to Gaze. It's just so good. Um, or you can just run regular Balance uh, Pierce, and that way you only need the infall. Um, it's amazing, but just run a strat that's not Nova. Go over here to the tournaments, um, like classic 1v1, quick match 1v1, uh, Bartleby 1v1, 
turn based one just try to do a 1v1 those are the quickest in my opinion right um especially the quick match you can see duration those are the quickest right uh make sure you have a few crowns it is gonna cost but you know you can't do pvp unless you're a member which is you know i believe that should be changed personally um but have a few crowns then when you get the reroll at the end of it just reroll until you can get a few thousand tickets and then you can do another tournament reroll again or try to get off 5500 in one go then buy the ring and then just do ranked it's really simple um it may take you a few tries you may want to find out a deck that works for you this is the deck that works for me if you want to recreate this here it is um here's the tc deck uh ooh, one second uh that and then i used a mantle this is the tc deck this is the main deck if you got any questions please post them in comment i'll try to answer them to the best of my ability but again i'm not a pro by any means I'll answer to the best of my ability, but I may not be able to give you the best answer out there. Um, if there's anything else I didn't cover that is not related to Wiz, if you just want to ask a personal question, try to answer those too. But um, just any questions in general, ask them in the comments. I'll be reading all those. Like and subscribe, and yeah, that's about it. See you later.